Well, hello, Suzanne, and thank you very much for being willing to share with you some of your insights and learnings, really, from our coaching relationship. And I know that we've worked together in a number of different guises. You've been on my retreat, my Women Who Lead retreat. We've worked one on one. And also we've worked together in your organization in building innovation capability and skills. So tell us a little bit about yourself and, and what you do. Thank you, Natalie. And it's great to be here today. Uh, I'm Suzanne Miller. Director of Communications and Government Affairs for GSK. I'm based in Singapore, but I have global remit. Uh, I've got a passion for innovation and, and so have you. And I guess that's what, what's brought us together in, uh, in different facets over the years. Wonderful. And what was it about your, the time of your life in terms of why you wanted to start a coaching relationship? What was it that was happening that you felt um, spurred you on, if you like? Sure. Um, so we met many years ago at one of your uh, Women Who Lead retreat. And I think for me, it was just sort of pivotal time in my development. I think I was working out who I was. I, it was a lot of self-doubt. So, um, and I came to that retreat. I met a lot of amazing uh, professional women um, who were in much the same place. Uh, and then since that time, I've watched you uh, strengthen and deepen your coaching expertise um, in a number of different ways and, and bringing innovation, you know, to that coaching has, has, uh, has really evolved it over the time. Great. And with my particular approach to coaching, you know, are there particular things that you have really enjoyed that you've liked about, about the coaching relationship in terms of how I approach it with my sort of unique style, if you like? Yeah, so I think with uh, your style enables the person who's receiving the coaching to really get clarity in who they are. Um, so, you know, who they are in the world, the strengths that they bring, you know, the, and, the, and the gaps as well, right, because we all, we all have them. Um, and I think that really, really has certainly helped me find purpose. You know, where am I, where am I going, you know, and can I, be, can I be successful in that, right, by knowing myself better? Um, as I mentioned before, I think that you you really bring that um, that innovation uh, through in multiple ways, um, and um, I you know I think the fact that you've you know you've really lived business right you've uh, you've been in the thorny edge of what it takes to work in corporate organisations you've experienced the good and bad of running businesses so you bring a real depth of reality. Um, you know, business reality to your to your coaching practice and and for me that's been really valuable excellent thank you and with the different types of tools that i've used like the the six eyes or the enneagram how, how have they benefited you yeah look the enneagram in particular um i mean i think about that so often so that was such a good investment in my development by working with you I think by working with you and the various tools that you bring, it's really helped me see my patterns, you know, the good and the bad, and, and that they are reoccurring. Um, so I think by, by seeing my patterns, by understanding it, this is just who I am, it allows me to, to um, you know, to be less reactive, to really lean in with courage. I think that that's what I've certainly grown over my time. I know who I am, right? And this is how I'm going to lean in. Um, because I know what I'm good at, I know where I need to watch, um, and I've learned a lot about other people as well by by learning about myself by using some of your tools. I'm able to be a little bit more reflective um, about others in the workplace. Well, that's fantastic. So, in terms of your own leadership development, your career development, and your presence, your executive presence in in the workplace, how do you feel it's affected that? Yeah. So I. Um, Again, I think because I know I, I know who I am better. So that 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 ability to speak from a place of courage, that ability to speak with a, from a place of strength, the ability the ability to sit at that that table, right? Sit at some of those corporate tables, but just know who I am sitting at that table. Know when I need to reach out for help, right? Um, so all those, you know, make me a stronger person from within. Within, yeah, absolutely, wonderful. And 
So other women, for, you know, particularly women like yourself who are in senior positions of leadership in corporations, why do you think it's important for them to have a coach and how do they, how can they benefit from it? Yeah, so, you know, there's coaching offered in the workplace um, and if it's there, I definitely think you should take it. But there's some things that you don't always want to talk about in the in the workplace, especially as you're working through some issues. So I think having a coach outside that you can learn from, draw on at various points in your career. As I mentioned, I've come to you at various times, right? We haven't worked consistently all the way through. But, you know, the fact that, you know, when I'm in some of those highs, when I'm in some of those lows, I can come back to you is important. So for those women, if you don't have a coach, please get one, learn who you are and um, learn who you are so that you can lean in with power and strength at whatever table that you are sitting at. Fantastic. Thank you, Suzanne. Thanks so much for sharing some of your learnings, your insights and how coaching has benefited with you. And I really enjoy working with you and our, our, our relationship and, and our, our friendship too. So thank you very much. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you.